Hey, you, you need to learn how to navigate internet 3.0. The next infrastructure of the internet is currently being built before your eyes. Imagine if you were in the internet before everyone knew about the internet. Internet, 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 okay? In this video, we're gonna be talking about Uniswap, which is one of the biggest, it is the biggest decentralized protocol on web 3.0. We're gonna be going to all the intrinsic details and the whole entire tutorial. I'll be breaking out all the details, guys. Um, and I'm gonna get right to the point, stop wasting your time. I hate it when people you know, put up a tutorial and take forever to get to the point. So we're just gonna jump straight to the protocol now. So what is Uniswap? Uniswap is a decentralized exchange, okay? Decentralized exchanges allow you to take one cryptocurrency and transmit it to the other permissionless without a centralized authority or somebody managing your money, right? So they can't reverse transactions. Uh, they can't penalize you and take your money. Uh, it's basically all trustless. Anyone can do it anywhere in the world. Okay, so it's really good for people on the other side of the world that don't have access to banking resources or United States dollar. In some cases, you can't buy United States dollar in your country because they don't allow you. In this case, you could buy a stable coin, right? Which is a cryptocurrency pegged to the United States dollar. And you can transact no matter what. There's no KYC process. Uh, there's no identification. There's nothing. It's fully decentralized and autonomous and it runs itself. Now, there's a couple of ways you can make money. And I will be talking about that at the end of the video with this decentralized exchange. But the primary purpose of this is to give you guys a tutorial. And if you like tutorials, if you like content like this, I talk about entrepreneurship, making money online, uh, and of course, cryptocurrency. Do us both a favor, hit that subscribe button, as well as the push notification bell so you can get videos like this all the time. Some of it's time sensitive, so hit the push notification bell too, because I'll be dropping some uh, projects that I'm potentially investing in not financial advice, you know the deal. Let's jump into exactly the platform itself. So we're here, as you can see, very simple interface. You see uh, exactly how to swap. So if you, I just want you guys to pay attention to the top here. We have swap, pool, uni, vote, and charts. I'm explaining all the details and all of them um, so you understand it and, and you don't make any mistakes, right? So swap, first thing, this is the primary function of this platform. You are able to swap a cryptocurrency with any cryptocurrency that you want, okay? So all you have to do is pick the first one that you have a balance of. So let's say, for example, ETH, and then you put the token that you wanna swap it to. So let's say you wanna swap it to USDC. You put that in there, and then you put the amount. Let's say you wanna do one ETH, okay, they're gonna give you $389.83, okay? So at the price of 0 0.00256 uh, ETH per USD. Now, you have to understand that there's a different, there's a couple of things you have to be aware of, right? So there's a liquidity provider fee, which is 0 0.003 ETH, which goes to the liquidity providers, right? Which I'll show you how to provide liquidity so you can get some passive income. And then you have the price impact. So the price cha can change while you're transacting and the, the maximum amount they're allowing is 0.01%. Okay, so basically they're showing you the minimum amount you'll get guaranteed, no matter what. So all you have to do is click swap and now, before we even get to this, I have to explain uh, decentralized web wallets. So this is the interface, and I'm about to show you a swap, but if you don't have a MetaMask account, so all you have to do, I'll leave the link in the description to help you guys out, is download a MetaMask account. This is the interface in which you will communicate with Web 3.0. This will have all your cryptocurrency, essentially your wallet. Okay, You have to connect it to Uniswap. It will ask you, hey, connect wallet. You type in your password, you accept it, and then you will give, be given these features. If you don't see these features, it's because you haven't downloaded the MetaMask wallet and funded your account with Ethereum or cryptocurrencies, right? So you have to do that. You have to have the MetaMask. It's not a tutorial for MetaMask. And if you guys want me to do a tutorial for MetaMask, go ahead and leave a comment below and let me know. And if we have a good demand, I'll do that as well. But it's fairly simple to set up. So go ahead and set up your MetaMask, connect your wallet to the Uniswap, Uniswap uh, platform. And then I'm just back to swaps, right? Let's go right, right into swaps. So as you can see here, you can swap the ETH for USDC. When you click swap, it's gonna go through these extra details right here. So one ETH equals 389 USDC. Okay, that's just one example of a stable coin and we go through you know, everything we just talked about, right? So the price updated, okay? So this will happen commonly. Remember, it's not centralized. So it's, 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 it's gonna change for the price. So you accept the price update, right? So you wanna accept the price update. So output is estimated you receive at least $387. Where's the other $2 go from? Slippage, okay? There's always gonna be something like that. I don't wanna swap it. Um, but let's just say hypothetically we confirm the swap. It's going to pop up a MetaMask and you're going to pay a gas fee, right? So the total plus the gas fee will be that. And I want you to look at this number here because it's going to be relevant in the future. So you see custom nonce. Okay, so you can, if you don't see custom nonce, all you have to do is go to the settings in MetaMask. Again, if you guys want me to do a MetaMask tutorial, I will do it. But in the settings you can change it to custom nonce. And you want to do that because it's going to be able to give you the re ability to reverse transactions on the blockchain. So let's say you make a trade and it's taking too long to go through, you could reverse it 
um, by using this nonce. And we'll talk about that later. Maybe I'll go through a quicker tutorial in the settings to show you guys. But I'm gonna reject this. You will confirm it if you actually wanna do it. And then in like a couple minutes or so, you should receive the money um, actually in the MetaMask. So if we go over to the top right, right here, uh, we can see that I have account one. If I go to settings, we can go to advanced and scroll down and you can see that we have custom nonce right here. So as you can see, the tr uh, customized transaction, yours is probably off. You can turn it on. I want you guys to turn it on because you can use that to reverse transactions if you have to. So let me explain the concept of reversing transactions. So as you can see here, I have some activity. So this is the actual last transactions where I sent it. I sent the uh, point one ETH somewhere. So let me go back to the transactions. Now, the reason I wanna show you that is because we can go see the activity log, right? And in the activity log, they give you the price of gas, gas use, gas limits, amounts, and the nonce, this is 142. So let's say hypothetically this transaction was sent, but I, want, I don't wanna send it anymore, um, or for whatever reason it got stuck in the blockchain because I didn't use the right gas prices, right? You could easily reverse that by sending another transaction. So you can send another one back to yourself, right? So what you do is you take your address, right? Let's say, you know, originally you sent from this wallet to another wallet. And stay, instead of say, taking the public address from the other wallet, you take the public address of your current wallet and you send a transaction with zero dollars. So you would literally press send, you send a transaction to yourself. So you would copy this right here, press send, and this is how you reverse the transaction. You send it to yourself like this, and then you would do a higher transaction fee than what you paid before. So you would have to look at the history of what you paid before. The transaction fee has to be a little bit higher. You would do zero ETH. You go to advanced options. You can see this is all your gas limit. This is not a video for gas limit. If you guys want me to talk about that, I could definitely do that as well. Now, if you kind of want to cut the BS and get just straight to the point with everything that comes with you know, cryptocurrency, all the tutorials, all the money-making methods and strategies, emotional control, uh, fundamental analysis, technical analysis. Guys, I do have a website. You can go over the website below. It's basically going to take you to a page. This is ending on the first. Um, it's my course, fundamentalsecrets.com. Uh, basically teach you everything about cryptocurrency, exactly how we were able to turn $5,000 to well over six figures in under a, a, a year, about 308 days. Um, and basically all the strategies I use as a cryptocurrency expert um, in this field. So that offer, the lifetime access that I've been talking about over and over again in my videos, will end on the first. Lifetime access for the course will end on the first. And then after that, we'll just go to the same thing that every other course does on the internet, which is a yearly subscription. Okay, so again, if you don't take action on fundamental secrets, which is the link is in the description, you will lose lifetime access. I highly suggest that you guys pull the trigger um, because it, it, it really is a deal that's kind of like uh, unmatched from anything on the internet. Uh, lifetime access to anything is obviously, a, as long as you stay committed, uh, you're gonna guarantee the results. So I'm gonna close this right here because that's not what we're trying to do. We're trying to change the nuns, right? So our goal is to change the nuns of this transaction so you can reverse the last one that you did. So you press next and then there you go, you have custom nonce. You would put it to 144, which was the same nonce as the last one that we did, I believe. I believe it was 144. And just make sure that the nonce matches the transaction that you're trying to reverse. And if you do that, it will actually attempt to reverse the transaction. It's not guaranteed, but the whole point is that you're basically taking the position of the last transaction and it's kind of just kicking the last transaction out. So uh, that's the simple way to put it. So that's just a little detail. A lot of people don't even know that you are currently using uh, you know, Uniswap. So you're that much ahead. This is how you navigate internet 3.0 people. This is a new interface, a new world. I mean, imagine the people that never got with like regular technology, where are they at now, right? So that's happening again, and it's happening on a bigger magnitude this time. So you guys got to get with it or get left behind. Like I always say in my videos, I'm just being honest. So that's the swap feature. You can swap from any coin. One more thing I want to say is that there's some coins that you'll see that people are attempting to like tell you to buy, right? Like maybe a new coin that comes out uh, that's not necessarily on Uniswap. The thing about Uniswap that's beautiful is that you can actually trade any ERC-20 token, even if they don't have it listed on the website. So what you could do is you go to Etherscan and be careful with this because if you get the wrong contract address, you can get scammed, right? So just make sure it's the right one. Usually if there's a new coin that comes out, like with a medium post or something like that, you can see they'll give you the custom contract address and you can just copy it. But what you're looking for is a contract address. So let's say, for example, we looked up Aave or something. This is the Aave token. You can search up any token that's ERC-20. ERC-20 basically means it's on the Ethereum blockchain and they'll give you a contract address right here, copy address. Now, if your coin is not coming up, so if you're coming over here and you're like, oh, Alex, I want this coin, but it's not coming up. I can't see it in the list, right? If your coin's not coming up, all you have to do is click change, okay? You can either add it here, I believe, but I, I usually just go to right here. Um, and then, okay, so there's no custom anymore. So yeah, just paste the address right there. 
So you just literally paste the address because this is rapidly changing. There you go, Ave pops up. And then you could add it and boom, bada bang, bada boom. All right, now another thing is in MetaMask, you also will not see that same coin. So what you'll have to do is the same thing. You have to go to assets. It's basically the, the, map, um, the actual wallet and the actual um, you know, exchange are not recognizing this coin, even though it is ERC-20. Um, you could just take that same contract address, boom, pop it in there. Look, Aave pumps up, next. There you go, add tokens. Just make sure you do the right contract address because they can scam you, okay? If you're trying to buy like a brand new coin, there will be a lot of people that will make copies of the coin, so just be careful, guys. Okay, I just wanna be very clear with that one. So that's how you swap. That's everything you need to know about swapping and adding coins to your actual account so you can see them. Now, pool, okay, the pool is interesting. So I'm not gonna dive too deep because you can go on this forever, but the pool is a way for you to add liquidity, right? And it, and it can be used in a, a variety of ways. And there's other decentralized protocols that will actually piggyback off this and you can use liquidity for different, you know, it, I'm not gonna dive into that, so it will be way too long. But if we add liquidity, right? So if we click add liquidity right there, right? You can make liquidity for any pair you want, okay? Um, if you want me to explain the intrinsic details of DeFi, I have, again, I have a course, you can get it done with now. You can wait for me to upload something or you can kind of go try to learn it for yourself, right? Um, but basically, there's, there's chance of impermanent loss, okay? Basically, you can lose your money if you do this the wrong way. All right, I'm not going to explain too many details, but impermanent loss basically means um, as the price drops in volatility, if the, if the price of, the, of one of the pairs drops in, in comparison to the others, you'll technically lose it, but it's impermanent. So it will come back if the price comes back, but you won't be getting as much yield in the meantime, and you technically kind of lost some of your earnings. So it's not... What I like to do when I add liquidity is usually I like to add stable coins and we'll, we'll talk about that toward, towards, towards the end because there's no chance of impermanent loss. So it's beautiful. But in some cases, I will add liquidity, right? So all you have to do is find a pair that you want to add. Let's say you want to do Ethereum and USDC or something like that or whatever. This is CUSDT. So you could do that and it will basically add a percentage of the pool. So you can like say something like max and it's asking for 2.4 ETH and I have about this much you know, US, CUSDT, right? So you can do that if you wanted to. It'll come out as a pair token, which some protocols will ask for, right? Um, LA, you can see that, for example, on like um, harvest.finance, they had that. You can get like a pair and put it on different protocols, okay? So that's just a little bit too advanced, but you actually get a share of the pool, right? So it'll say hypothetically, I, I did ETH and I don't know, uh, let's say USDC. So if I did something like that, you can see that, you have the share of the pool percentage, right? Which won't be that much. It's, it's less than 0.01%, okay? So this percentage will actually pay you, so as you can see right here, by adding liquidity, you will earn 0.3% of all trades on this pair proportional to your share of the pool. So this percentage share of the pool, you will get in fees. So it's similar to mining. So you could do that for yourself. Currently, I am not adding liquidity, but what I plan on doing, and just to show you guys a tutorial to knock this out, I plan on like actually right now, I'm gonna add some ETH and USDC right now. So you can see the full tutorial. Now this is different. Depositing your liquidity provider tokens to receive uni. So in this case, they have a whole structure of how they're giving out these uni tokens. They already gave out a lot. As you can see, you have 400 uni tokens. They gave out to, it was like an airdrop. It was like a stimulus check for cryptocurrency. Um, and they're actually still giving it out in the, in the form of rewards for liquidity providers. So I do want to provide liquidity uh, for Uniswap. And so I'm going to do it right now on a small scale and then I'll let you guys know if in the future I went a little bit harder. But just for tutorial purposes, let's do this. So you can see ETH and USDC. So I press deposit um, and then we just say add ETH and USDC liquidity. And then let's just say hypothetically, I only want to do, um, let's just say I want to do, because I want to keep some Ethereum on my wallet. I haven't really prepped for this, but let's just say I want to do like two ETH. Um, yeah, let's do two ETH. So $781. So they're matching it. So they're giving the same amount of USDC, if, that, if you guys see that. So $781 with a USDC and two ETH will go into this pair, right? So approve USDC. And then while it's approving, so you pay this first transaction fee, which is $1.10, and then it's going to pend. And I believe there's something else you accept. I don't remember the exact details. But while we're doing that, while we're doing that, let's explain some other things. So we have voting, okay? Uh, you guys can see there's basically governance protocols. If you own the coin, you're a part of the governance protocol. Um, and you can make votes to change the system on what they want. I'm not gonna go over this in, in great detail. There's proposals that will come out from programmers, from, from really uh, smart people that are helping the protocol. Um, and you can vote for them or against them, or you can even submit your own protocols. So that's part of governance tokens. You govern it and you have a, a piece of the pie when it comes to voting power and actual finance. Now the charts, 
I don't really use this because I like using something a little bit different, but you can get a lot of analytics off of this and you can, you know, in your investment strategy, I don't use it too much. Again, I don't use it like a lot, but you can get the coins that you're watching, you can get a lot of volume and, and details here. Uh, so you guys definitely use it if you need to. Now, what I usually use is uh, something called Uniswap.Vision. So this is actually like a trading view open source thing, I guess they got going on here. Um, and they're attaching it to uh, the actual Uniswap protocol. So this is Kyber Network versus uh, USDC, um, which might be a good buy, by the way. It's definitely uh, getting some uh, support here on this level just by looking at it really quickly. I didn't, but yeah, you could use this chart because remember, a lot of these coins are brand new. If you're if you're playing with Uniswap on like a deep level, these coins are coming out of very, very brand new. Like some of them don't even have a, it won't even be on Coin Market Cap or Coin Gecko. So you can use this as a way to track the price. So that's just another tool with Uniswap I usually use. Okay, so the, while the transaction is going through, let me just show you some other protocols. I actually recently took some money out of some and then I'm just moving it around. Let me just show you guys what I'm doing. It's, it's pretty basic. You guys are going to oh, you're so basic. But I'm safe. I like to make money. Uh, that's just the truth. This is a small percentage of what I have in total. I do not put all my money on one wallet, but this is basically zapper.fi where you can look at your Ethereum address and see what's going on. Um, so the vast majority of it right now is in YEARN. Uh, so basically it's just a vault that pays you out according to the percentages that they gain from the arbitrage. Um, and it's been able to give me about a pretty good return anywhere from 10 to 20% APY a year. It averages out to that because sometimes it'll be like less than 5%. Sometimes it'll be up 40, 50% uh, APY per month. So um, I expect it to get a lot higher as more um, volatility comes in, as more people get into cryptocurrency and the market starts going in the bull run, the, the APY will increase. This is like a savings to me. So, um, you know, instead of keeping in a bank, I diversify in different uh, stable coins. I do have cash and I do have money in the bank too, as well. I just want to be clear with you guys, but I do diversify them. And this for me is just a savings. And this is giving me like 10, 20% APY. So that's beautiful for me. I don't take, uh, you know, yield farming over the top. Uh, like some people I do uh, to get governance tokens if they're like a good protocol. Uh, but primarily the vast majority of my money will go into these uh, safe bets uh, just because, you know, uh, DeFi is very brand new and experimental, and there's a lot of issues that are arising, uh, potential Ponzi schemes, et cetera, et cetera. So you don't want to get caught in DeFi too much. You want to hold the coins. For, remember, the more you guys do in cryptocurrency, the less you make every single time. So you want to make sure you at least you know make money on Bitcoin and the upswing of Ethereum and Bitcoin, et cetera. So as you can see here, it's pending. Now there, you have the option to speed it up. I don't want to because you have to do, you have to pay an extra transaction fee, and it's not always guaranteed. Um, but I'm just going to leave it here, and we're going to wait till it's done, and then we'll get back to recording. All right, so we're back. So after you get approved for liquidity, that was basically like the first transaction to prove that you could do this. Let me just go over here and show you. So we can go to MetaMask, go to activity. You can see approve USD spending limit. Okay, so that basically that first transaction went through. It was like a dollar. Um, and then now you can actually physically supply it. Now you press supply, confirm supply, and you're going to do another transaction. The gas fee is going to do It's going to happen again. You press confirm and we are pending one more time and then i'll show you guys exactly what happens after all right and we are done officially so if you come over here to metamask you can see that i have less ethereum you can see i have less usdc um and then you could also see that if you come over here to pool uh right here you'll see your actual liquidity uh for everything that you've been providing liquidity to so you can manage it you can exit your position pull it out you can add more and you will accumulate uniswap depending on the traffic of course of how many people use this platform, but it has the highest liquidity um, as well as the highest transaction. And, you know, it's the biggest protocol in cryptocurrency. So if there was a place you're going to make some money, it's pretty safe. Uh, this would definitely be it. Uh, but that's it for this video, guys. If you like the quality of this content, hit like. If you don't, leave some constructive criticism. Subscribe for more video updates. And like I always say, if you don't get with this technology, Web 3.0, you will get left behind. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Catch you in the next one.